see, anatomy and physiology are part of those medical courses that you will be advised to go for after you have been denied for highly competitive medical courses like medicine and surgery, pharmacy, nursing and the likes. But believe me, there are some things you need to know before you conclude or take to people advice to study anatomy or physiology. And that's exactly what I want to discuss with you in this video. So stay with me. This video is not here to rubbish anatomy or physiology. In fact, these two courses are very important to the field of health. Like anatomy deals with the study of description and identification of human body and that of physiology deals with the normal functioning of human body. So no medical practitioner like a medical doctor, nurse, a pharmacist, a physiotherapist, a radiographer can call him or herself a medical practitioner without the knowledge of physiology and anatomy. But this video is here to enlighten people that are advised or willing to go to university to study the course purely like when you want to get BS in anatomy or BSc in physiology. There was this time I was also struggling to gain admission into the university to study medical course. After many years of trying, uh, I, I got someone that came to advise me that I course him, why can't you go for anatomy or physiology? Uh, those two courses are also very good. You see, they can work in the hospital too. As someone that don't really like to take to people advice without knowing what exactly uh, what they are telling me is all about. So I really have to go into further research about these two courses. And that was when I realized that anatomy and physiology are not really like people seems those two courses to be. So I'm not arguing with the fact that they can secure a job in uh, the hospital. Uh, some people said they can work as uh, a, a laboratory assistant. Some people said anatomists can work in, in, the, la in the mortuary. I'm not disputing that. I just want anybody that wants to go and study this course to be assured that there is low availability of job. Low, in fact, very low availability of job for anatomists or physiologists in the hospital. This video is here to talk about two things. Number one is why should you study anatomy or physiology? That is if you must study it. And number two, what are other medical courses you can study apart from anatomy and physiology? Or let me say, instead of anatomy and physiology that are much more better so let's go in there before i continue this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel now why should you study anatomy or physiology number one is that you can use anatomy or physiology as a stepping stone to your dream medical course anatomy and physiology are good and well acceptable courses for diet entry admission into medical courses like the nursing and medicine and surgery pharmacy physiotherapy and the likes. After you graduated with BSc in anatomy or physiology, you can process admission again into your dream medical course, free diet entry, of which you'll be offered admission into 200 or 300 level, depending on the school you choose to attend. And this is only possible if you graduated with a good grade. This will not interest you if you are not passionate or desperate about being a medical practitioner because it will take you to stay longer in school. The second reason of which you can consider anatomy or physiology is that you are willing to be a teacher. Now, I am not talking about being uh, a lecturer. I'm not talking about lecturing job because you must have heard from people saying uh, you can be a lecturer after you, you go for your MSc in anatomy or physiology. Yeah, it's normal. Anyone can be a lecturer. A lecturing job is not guaranteed out there for you after graduation. I'm talking about when you are willing to teach other people anatomy or physiology after you graduated. So I know and I have seen a lot of people doing well by teaching other people anatomy or physiology. You see, anatomy and physiology are those courses that give people of medical colleges a tough time to pass. If you study the course in the university and you understand it very well, then you can start a tutorial business after you graduate. Or if you are willing to be a teacher or start a tutoring business after graduation, physiology or anatomy might be good for you. Just like I have promised earlier in this video, what are the less competitive medical courses you can study instead of anatomy or physiology. Number one of it is physiotherapy. If you have a good jam score and you are not able to secure admission to study medicine, nursing or pharmacy, then you can consider physiotherapy. Physiotherapy is also a very good medical course. It is less competitive currently in Nigeria because it is relatively a new course in Nigeria. So number two is radiography. Another one is public health. Another one is human nutrition and dietitis. I've made a specific video on the topic less competitive medical courses check the description box below to find the link to the video i want to believe that this video has changed someone's orientation and it's of benefit to someone out there especially you watching this video 
So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, you can check some of the video we have made on this channel just for you. I forgot to tell you my name right from the beginning. If you are new here, I'm Kosim. See you in another interesting video like this. Bye for now.